Good morning, grade 7. Let's continue the law of reflection. We are still in the middle of the discussion. We need to hurry up simply because your um, third quarter exam, a periodical exam, is fast approaching. Okay. Again, the law of reflection states that the angle between the incident wave and the normal is always equal to the angle between the reflected wave and the normal. Did we finish the discussion last time? I think we are still in the interaction with matter. Let's continue the wave interaction with matter, okay? Okay. When we knock the door on the door, longitudinal sound waves transfer energy of the knock through the door, okay? However, when a person is in the next room, hears the knock, it is not as loud as the sound as your side or the person outside the room of the door. The sound is weaker after it passes through the door because the waves interact with the matter that makes up the door, okay? That's how they interact with the matter or how wave interact with the matter, okay? Transmission, let's continue. Some of the sound from the knock passes to the door, the waves transmit or carry the energy all the way through the door. The energy then passes into the air particles and the person on the other side hears the knock because it is now transmitted. Okay, Absorption. Some of the sound is absorbed by the particles that make up the door or your wood. Instead of passing through the door, the energy increases in the motion of the particles on the wood or of the wood. The sound energy changes into thermal energy. That is why it, too much of the sound, it can create heat, okay? Thermal energy within the door. Therefore, less sound energy passes into the air the next room. That is why it is not that loud as outside the room. Okay. Reflection. Some of the energy used to knock the door reflects or bounces back into the room or you are in. Sound waves in the air transfer sound back to your ears. That's, that is why you can hear the sound. Okay. Again, how wave interact with the matter? Number one through transmission, number two, through absorption, and number three, through reflection. Absorption, transmission, absorption, and reflection. Let's tackle now, continue talking about the law of reflection. Do you have any questions so far? Grade seven, are you still with me? Okay. No. The law of reflection again states that the angle between the incident wave and the normal is always equal to the angle between the reflected wave and the normal. So if we're going to look at the angle of reflection, which illustrated in I, this is the angle of incident, rather, represented by I, is always equal to the angle of reflected rays, or represented by letter R. Okay. Refraction. Okay. Refraction is the change of direction of a wave as it changes speed, moving from one medium into another which is actually called refraction. Like this example, 
if you're going to look at it, it tends to bend, okay, or changes its, its direction. Why do you think so? That popsicle stick changes its direction. Any idea? Any idea? Remember that you are not changing medium, okay? Water is a medium, right? Are you still with me? Grade seven? Yeah. Okay. It is an example or a concrete example of changing a medium or media, okay? Water is a medium and air is a medium. But this way it's changing the direction because you sudden change the medium. Just like when you put also a pen in a glass of water, it will, it will tend to bend. But it is not actually bending. It is just your vision, okay? Otherwise, it is called optical illusion, okay? Diffraction, okay? What is the difference between reflection or refraction and diffraction? Diffraction is the change in direction of a wave when it travels past the edge of an object or an opening. If you walk down the school hall, you can hear sound coming from an open classroom or an open door. Okay? The sound waves have diffracted around the corner of your ears. Diffraction, it means that um, instead of scattering, instead of having scattered um, sound, it tends to go in, a, in, in an area or an open area. Just like when you pass down the, hall, the hallway, you can hear the sound coming from elsewhere or coming from a room. That is diffraction, just like this example, okay? If this is the doorway, okay, this is the door, you can actually hear the sound coming from here, right? Because the sound was created inside the room, diffracted outside. So you can actually see or you can actually hear where the sound came from, right? Question so far. Question so far. Okay, let's continue. Light, okay? Light waves are other forms of electromagnetic waves, okay? differ in wavelength and frequency. Electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, this is what I'm, I'm telling you last meeting that there are two types of waves. The first one is, what is the first type of wave? What is the first type of wave that we had discussed previously? We have Grade 7. The first type of wave is A what? The first type of wave is What? What? It is a mechanical wave. Okay. Mechanical wave. Correct. The second type of wave is Correct, Kisha. 
Hermosa Rhea, correct. The second type of wave, yes, correct. Keisha and Rhea. It is the electromagnetic wave. Okay. The difference between the two we have, when you say mechanical wave, it needs a medium in order to travel, just like your sound or sound wave. The second one is the electromagnetic wave, which don't actually need a medium in order to travel, but it can travel to a medium or a matter. Okay. Electromagnetic spectrum, light, light is just a type of electromagnetic wave. There is a wide range of electromagnetic waves that make up the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's talk on more about electromagnetic waves. Types of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic spectrum consists of seven main types of waves. These waves ranges from low energy, long wavelength radio waves to very high energy or short wavelength gamma rays. Let's tackle first radio waves. Okay. Radio waves is a low frequency, low energy, electromagnetic, longer than about 30 centimeters is called radio wave. Radio waves have at least the amount or the least amount of energy of an electromagnetic wave. On Earth, radio and television, okay, again, radio, your, your, your normal radio and your television sets. Transmitters produce radio waves that carry radio and television signals. This is now the signals being used by your television and your radios. Even your walkie-talkie, okay? Radio phones. It actually carries radio waves. So this is the radio wave. From the transmitter, actually, or it will be received by the receiver. Transmitter to receiver. Okay. Microwaves. Okay. Wavelength of a microwave is from 1 millimeter to 30 centimeters. Microwaves easily pass through smoke, light rain, and clouds which makes them useful for transmitting information via satellite. Again, our satellite uses microwaves. Okay. Weather radar systems, reflected microwaves of rain or storm clouds to detect the cal and calculate the storm's distance and motion. Other uses of microwaves, it is used in our microwave ovens for heat okay, because it produces a lot of heat. Okay. This is the microwave transmission from the main, like for example, in our satellite, it uses microwave. Okay, It transmits now the microwave signal towards the microwave relay stations. Okay, And then you, there you go. It can actually pass data or information back and forth. Light. Light is a type of electromagnetic wave that the eyes can detect. Light includes the range of wavelength or sometimes called it is called visible light okay? because this is the range that our eyes can detect like the colors. Okay? Without light, you cannot actually see colors. Why? You try to turn off your light and Tell me if you can see colors. You can just see black. Because this light plays a vital role in order for us to detect colors. Infrared waves. Okay. Infrared is an electromagnetic wave with wavelength shorter than a microwave, but longer than the light is an infrared wave. The sun is the Earth's major source of infrared waves. However, vibrating molecules in a type of matter, 
including your body, emits infrared waves. Heat. Actually, it creates heat. Okay? Your infrared also came from the rays of your sun. Therefore, this infrared plays a vital role in photosynthesis at the same time plays a vital role in warming earth. Question so far? Question so far? Do you have any question? Okay. None, none, none. Okay, none. All right. Let's continue. How about ultraviolet rays? Okay, ultraviolet waves is an electromagnetic wave with slightly shorter wavelength and higher frequency than light is an ultraviolet wave. The electromagnetic waves with shorter wavelengths carry more energy than the longer and therefore can be harmful to the living things. You might have heard that ultraviolet waves or UV rays from the sun can be dangerous. These waves carry enough energy to cause particles of matter to combine or break apart and form other types of matter. Exposure to high levels of these waves can damage your skin or can cause melanoma or skin cancer. Okay, This is the reason why we get sunburn. Okay? Because of the UV, UV rays. Okay, And our sunblocks contains UV protection. This is to protect our skin from the harmful radiation or from the harmful UV rays. Okay? Sure, if that is the case, what is the purpose of the ultraviolet rays? Your ultraviolet rays supposed to be blocked in our ozone layer. And because of the global warming, because of the um because of the pollution, tendency is the ozone layer becomes thin or thinner ozone layer. Now, supposed to be we can actually get um, a lesser UV or ultraviolet rays from the sun. But because of this, we can actually absorb more UV rays and can cause serious damages on skin. Like for example, the melanoma or skin cancer. Okay, question so far? Question so far? Grade 7? Okay. So this is now the representation of your UV, okay, actually we have two UV, UV rays we have, it, sir, what are the differences? Now, it differs on its sizes, okay, it is, when we say UVA, it's 320 to 400 nanometers, or, and UVB is 290 to 320 nanometers, so it passes through, what, the ozone layer, Okay, but because our ozone layer is not that thick as before, tendency is it is much stronger than the usual. And sometimes our skin cannot actually protect us from, from it. That's why when you go to beach, you need to have a what? A sunblock in order to, to protect your skin against the harmful effects of the ultraviolet rays. How about x-rays? Okay. How about x-rays? X-rays 
is a high energy electromagnetic wave that have slightly shorter wavelength and higher frequency than the ultraviolet waves or X-rays. These waves can be very powerful. They have enough energy to pass through skin and muscles. That is why it is used in medical. But denser bone can stop them. This makes them useful for taking pictures inside the body. Airport scanners sometimes use x-rays to take pictures of the contents of the luggage. Yes, because these waves can actually penetrate on the skin tissues. So, it is used in medical. Okay, But because these rays or these waves are much powerful, they have enough energy to pass through, it can also damage your tissues. Okay? Too much exposure of x-ray can cause also damages on your cells. Okay? It can cause mutation. At the same time, it can cause also cancer if in case you are exposed for a longer period of time. That is why it is not advisable to have x-rays every now and then. Okay? You need to have x-ray only if needed by your doctor or you have fractures once every six months, okay? In order for your body not to mutate or not to cause harmful effects or harm your cells, okay? Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions so far? None, none, none. All right. So let's continue. So this is one good example of x-ray from a luggage bag compartments. You can actually see what's inside. You can see these images in airports. Okay. Who among you here tried to... Um, go to airport or travel outside the country or travel to Manila, domestic and international. Who among you here tried to go to airport for domestic or international flights? Grade 7? Grade 7? Not yet? Not yet? Who among you here? Didn't try one time. Okay, Hermoso. Right? Have you observed Hermoso? The, your bags will be, um, should be put on a, a, an, an area wherein it will be scanned. You just leave your bag there and it will just pass through a, a scanner. And you need to get your bag back to the other end. Have you checked on that? <laughs> okay, publico. Sure, the kisa. Okay. So that is actually one of the example of um, scanner Hermoso. Okay. It is actually a an x-ray scanner. Right? Let's continue. This is one of the example of x-ray in human body. Okay. As you can see, it can penetrate on your cells and tissues. So, the, the bone there blocks the x-ray. And the tendency is we can actually see images of your bones. Okay, that is the images of your bones from x-ray machines. Okay. And even if you have implants like this one. Okay, these are implants, metal implants. Uh, can be seen in the x-ray. Okay. Let's continue. Do you have any question? No. All right. 
let's move now to gamma rays. Okay? Gamma rays. It's an electromagnetic waves produced with vibrating with the nucleus of an atom. It's called gamma rays. Okay? They have short wavelength and higher frequency with any other form of electromagnetic wave. Hence, they are the strongest among all the electromagnetic waves. Gamma rays carry much energy or so much energy that they can penetrate 10 centimeters of lead or one of the densest element. On Earth, gamma rays are produced by radioactive element and nuclear reactions. That is why gamma rays also are used in curing cancer. Okay, in medical. Aside from that, gamma rays are used in some laboratories for radioactive or radioactivity. Okay. There are a lot of functions of gamma rays, including energy creation or energy. No, we cannot create energy, rather. Energy transformation or generating energy. We can produce that one to gamma rays or gamma radiation. Right? Do you have any questions so far? Still have 10 minutes left. And one good example of your gamma radiation or gamma wave is the what? The supernova, the creation of your, the, the, um, the bumping of stars, what else? The creation of planets. These are one good example of your gamma radiation or gamma wave. So this is now the, um, the summary of these electromagnetic waves and the functions or the uses. Okay? Radio waves are used um, by your televisions and radios. Microwave is used by humans and also transmitters by your satellites. Infrared is used actually uh, it came from the sun and it can be absorbed by us other uses of infrared is your chips or your remote control sometimes some the remote control uses infrared light or infrared rays visible light this is the spectrum that is actually seen by us Okay. Ultraviolet rays is from the sun. It is some it is sometimes harmful because the ozone layer is not that thick as the usual and it can cause skin cancer if exposed for a longer period of time. X-rays they are used in medical to see your bones because this um electromagnetic spectrum or electromagnetic wave can actually penetrate on skin and penetrate on tissues and it will be blocked by your bones so the result we can actually clear we can actually see a clear picture of your bones and this is used in medical at the same time gamma is the strongest or gamma wave is the strongest created by the vibration of the nucleus at the same time, it also be used or can be used in medical in curing cancer. One good example of gamma radiation is the blasting of heavenly bodies, the, the creation of your nebula or stars. Okay? It creates a gamma radiation. Question so far? The least of it. Okay. That's good. Again, you can always download the module in the module handout copy. 
it is downloadable so you can get your modules. Your modules is actually your guide or your study guide of the entire module itself. Okay, without the guide, it's really hard, right? All the lessons are included there. All the topics are included there. Okay. Let's move now to light and matter interact. <laughs> My good lights. It's still long. Okay, let's continue with the discussion by next meeting with the light and matter interact simply because we still have we, we have only five minutes left and this is really long. That is why I'm telling you grade seven last week that this topic is really long. And to tell you honestly, I already um shrink this topic to make it more short, but it's it is still long. Okay, I'm adjusted, I'm giving you a chance to you know to hear it clearly and loudly as far as i can okay i am giving also you a privilege that to have the topic shortened and very brief in order for you to understand right let's have the continuation light and matter interact by next meeting Simply because this is too long and I know you have a long uh, long day already for the lesson itself. We discussed a lot today and thank you for your participation. Okay, I think that will be all for today, grade 7. Hope you learned something out of our simple discussion. Do you have any questions so far? Questions so far? Keisha? Rhea, Miguel, Nino. All right. I think that will be all for today, class. Thank you for your participation, grade 7. And hopefully, you learn something out of our simple discussion. Let's continue by next meeting. Have a nice day, grade 7. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Hope to see you soon, all of you. Thank you.